Hello everyone, this is Alex. I'm a data scientist at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how we use Real Contour um, along with a deep learning model to do automated segmentation of CT scans and then how we follow that up with manual correction. So first, let me pull up Real Contour. I've done a few videos on this, but as a recap, here's our project window where our scans are listed. For this project, I'll be using a TCIA dataset, which is available from the NIH. It's publicly available, so I'll put a link in the description. And here's our editing window with our axial view of the CT hip, coronal, and sagittal. We've defined four ROIs for this project, fat, muscle, organ, and bone. So the first thing we want to do is apply our automated segmentation algorithm. I already have the model loaded, so we'll go up to ML for machine learning, apply model. This brings up our model zoo. A few models here, we're going to use hip v2. The nice thing about the real contour interface is that you can apply the segmentation model on many slices at once. So down here in our slice selector, we'll select the slices we want. In this case, we're going from the top of the pelvis, which we can identify with the ischial crests, down to where the legs begin to split. We'll go there. So shift click to select multiple slices and then select apply model. This will step through in real time and apply our deep learning model to these um, sequence of slices. So this is a variant on a UNET model. It's a 2D model, so I pre-trained this on abdomen CTs um, about at the liver level. And now um, I fine-tuned this on 25 of these hip scans. Uh, and so the purpose of these segmentations is I want to correct the machine learning output, and then we'll go back and retrain the model on the corrected scans. I should also note this is running on just my standard HP laptop. Um, you don't necessarily need uh, GPU acceleration when you're doing inference. Just finishing up segmentation here. There you go. So now we can close out of the ML menu. So you can see the model segmented fat in green, muscle in red, bone in light blue, and organ or soft tissue in dark blue. In this case, organ is sort of a catch-all category. Any anatomy that doesn't fit into the other three categories, we're going to segment as dark blue. Model's doing a pretty good job with muscle and fat. You can see there's some corrections that need to be made to the bone uh, and organ. A lot of this organ is getting missed. So we'll go ahead and start with corrections. For this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I want you to see the entire process, but that would be much too long for a YouTube tutorial. I'm sure you would lose interest, so I'm going to do um, sort of a time-lapse sequence of me doing corrections, and then I'll pause in the middle and explain what I've done. So here we go. So we finished correcting bone on this scan. Hopefully that was as much fun to watch as it was to record. 
Just a few notes on this before we move on. Bone is a pretty straightforward compartment. I think the anatomy is pretty easy, but a few things you may have noticed. First of all, um, I locked the fat. Fat around the back is pretty much correct, so it was just a lot easier to not have to worry about painting over that. Secondly, you may have noticed that I included the spinal cord and the intervertebral discs in the bone compartment. This is sort of a matter of preference, but for this study, we're looking at fat and muscle volumes, so it's just easier to loop that all into one compartment. So that's it for bone. Next, I'm going to go ahead and segment muscle. Finish correcting just a few small problems with the muscle. A couple things I want to mention before we move on. Firstly, you can see I was very explicit about segmenting the abdomen wall. Abdomen wall here in red. This is a feature that the model's tending to miss, and so we want to be very explicit about correcting that, even at the risk of over-segmenting. Another issue here, this is a frail patient, probably a little bit older. Um, you can see that there's some fat deposits in the muscle that are being traced as green. This is something we actually want to measure. We want to be able to tell how fatty this muscle is, and so we're going to correct that as red. So next I'll be correcting the organ. This is probably going to take a couple passes. I'll start by freezing the green and correcting the red, and then I'll go back for a second pass and correct the green. We finished correcting all of the organ in this scan. A couple notes on this before we wrap up. Firstly, it can be a little tricky to differentiate between um, what we're defining as organ and the muscle. They have about the same brightness. In this patient, it's a little bit easier because they've had oral contrast, which shows um, up brightly in the intestines. Um, but it can be tricky. And so the general rule is that the muscle forms a well-defined abdomen compartment. I talked about this earlier with the abdomen muscle. And then on the back side, it's uh, the posterior muscles of the leg here. So you can see this is our compartment. Basically, everything inside this compartment is going to be blue. There's an exception with some vessels that pass through this wall lower down, but pretty much everything is going to be blue. The other exception is the psoas muscles, which are the structural muscles that help hold up your spine. So they're pretty easy to spot um, in the upper abdomen and then just trace them as they go down. One trick in real contour is you can use the S key to turn your segmentation off and on if you want to check the anatomy. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, remember, real contour saves your work automatically, so you don't have to worry about clicking the save button. You can just continue on to the next scan. 
So thank you so much for watching. I've shown you how we apply an AI model and then how we do manual correction um, on the results of that model. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll answer.